snowboarding coats. There are so many options to choose from. So how in the world are you supposed to decide what type of snowboarding coat to get? Well, you're in luck because over the last few years of snowboarding, I've picked up a few different coats and honestly, I don't love all of them. So in today's video, we are diving into the top features that are absolute must-haves for your snowboarding coat. So as you're looking for a new coat, you know the features that you need to have. Number one, what side is it? Oh, there it is, a pass pocket. This is a little pocket on a lot of new coats that actually will keep your snowboarding pass right in there. So then instead of having to search around for your pass or leave it in one of your pant pockets, you just have it readily available and you can just go right up and boop. As you can see, I actually use this. If you've been to my channel before, you know I have a little bit of an obsession with <laughs> armpit vents. Armpit vents are just directly in your armpit. You can zip these open or close. There we go. Look at that. First try. <laughs> if you're planning on snowboarding throughout the season, you're probably going to hit different types of weather. And if you have a coat like this, then you don't have to worry about investing in multiple types of coats. Those armpit vents make such a big difference. I'm like an armpit vent expert at this point. <laughs> Please hold. If I'm totally honest, I just had to look up the terminology for this. Don't you worry, I got it. Wrist gaskets. <laughs> So wrist gaskets are what you're gonna have just right here next to your wrist, wrist. And a lot of them have these little thumb holes that you can poke your little fingers through. These are leftover from another year where I had some little hand warmers in there. Those are so great. First of all, it gives you a little bit of street cred cause like, no? Okay. You can just put those right in. Popping those little hand warmers in there, that keeps your hands nice and warm. And then the other thing that's so great, if you don't want the little hand warmers in there, then you can just fold it over if you're feeling extra cold or maybe you're out and about and you don't have gloves. Problem solved. Plus, if ever you need to have an impromptu sock puppet show. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> The next thing that you absolutely want to look for is some type of snow skirt. <laughs> so a snow skirt is just this little kind of bungee apparatus here. Why <laughs> is this so hard to show? You actually just button it here in the front and then that snow skirt just hugs your body a little bit tighter than just your standard coat would so that when you're falling, it's gonna help to prevent the snow going right up your back and getting you wet. This is one of those features that I did not even know existed before I started snowboarding, but I'm telling you, it is such a game changer. So make sure you look for a coat with a snow skirt. Don't you wanna look this cool? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Next feature. Pocket! Interior pockets. <laughs> so real talk here. I actually hate to be hungry, especially snowboarding. You're just out there on the mountain getting your butt totally kicked and sometimes you need a good snack. And by sometimes I mean like always. Always I need a good snack. My interior pockets are where I typically keep my snacks. No, just me, okay. And then also if you have a pocket like this that has a zipper, that is absolutely a must have because that's where you can keep like any money, your ID. A lot of the time I'll keep my cell phone in there because it has a zipper. One of the features that I totally love with my Roxy coat is not only does it have the zip pocket and it also has, see this? Darn it, my lip gloss is still in there from last year. It has the Velcro pocket inside of that pocket, which I love. I keep my credit cards or ID. A lot of the bars on the mountains require an ID just to get inside. I can still freely use this pocket without worrying about cash or whatever cards falling out. Just a little extra bit of security, you know? It's my zip down? How unfortunate would that be, huh? This feature is only available on Volcom coats, but if you have Volcom pants, they do have this zip to pant technology that actually allows you to zip your snowboarding coat directly to your pants, which is like a powder skirt on steroids to just really make sure that you do not get snow up your back. And this is a random feature to talk about, but it's something that you're going to need to consider when you're buying a snowboarding coat, and that is the fit and the style. So this coat is actually a slim fit and I really love it. I can wear it basically anywhere. I feel like it goes really well when I'm snowboarding, but I wouldn't feel uncomfortable wearing this to just go hang out with friends, normal looking on its own. Whereas this Volcom coat, definitely not the case. Whether or not it fits your style, we can all agree that it is just kind of like, well, bam. <laughs> 
<laughs> when I wear this on the mountain. So many compliments on this coat. When I purchased it, I wasn't looking for something that I could just wear anywhere. Definitely you want to keep in mind if you're wanting to get something a little bit more neutral that can be a little bit more versatile versus like something that's meant to pop and stand out on the mountain. I want to make sure that it has some type of like water resistance or waterproofing in it. So there you have it. There's all of my must have features when you're looking to buy a snowboarding coat. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I picked out a video that I think you'll like here and then YouTube picked one out that they think you'll like here. So go ahead and watch either one of these and I will see you soon in my next video.